Husbands, if you lack love and understanding toward your wife, there is a ceiling above your head when you pray. If you are cruel, petty, disinterested, dishonoring to your wife, no matter how much you pray, there's a ceiling and your prayers just, they're just, they're just hitting against that scene. They're hindered. There's an obstacle. They're not getting to the throne of grace. Because God says, that, that's a man who doesn't really understand. That's a man who doesn't really get it. That's a man who doesn't understand me and how I operate and, and how I show grace to weaker people if he can't honor his own wife. And if he doesn't get it, then I don't get it. Do you see, men, that this is not just helpful marriage advice, a few communication tips for getting along, but this is a reflection of what you believe and know and understand about God. Men, do you believe God's word that you are the head of the household and that your wife is to be submissive? You say, oh, yes. Well, then... It is no reason for harshness, but rather an incentive to honor your wife as the weaker vessel and treat her with tenderness. I've always said that the, the, the central message in complementarianism, which is a big word that means men and women are given different roles in the home, but they complement one another. I've always said the big message in complementarianism is not women sit down. It's men stand up. That's the message. Do you believe that everyone who believes in Christ is saved by grace and not by works? Then live it out with your wife. Do you believe that God has a privileged place in heaven for your wife as much as for you? That she is an heir of the same grace of life? Do you believe in your very heart of hearts that she is in every way your equal and deserves to be treated with understanding and dignity? And do you understand, men, that God answers prayers and loves it when we pray, but our prayers will be hindered if we do not honor and love our wives. So let us as men put and pay more attention to the obstacles that may be in the way of our prayers. Men, how you treat your wife is not some secondary or tertiary issue. It says everything about what you know and believe about God. And for some of us men, this is really a call, first of all, to get right with God. And maybe some of us to see, we don't really know God. We've been going through the motions. We've been letting, letting our, our wives do all the heavy lifting for us. And we need to get serious about this. And God will give you the grace that you need.